you guys just launched a brand new version of Wirecast. Now, you guys seem to be launching more than a version a year, which is just incredible that you can have those kind of major upgrades. But tell us a little bit about what's new in Wirecast 14 and, uh, you know, what makes it so uh, compelling and why everyone should upgrade. And also, talk about how if you own the product and you, you kind of get the upgrades for free. So talk about that whole way you're going to market now. Oh, Wirecast 14 is one of our biggest releases ever in terms of the amount of code that we've touched, the amount of uh, technology that we've updated. And uh, we've spent a lot of time working on stability because that is so important in live streaming, obviously. Um, it's the most important thing, really. If, if it doesn't work, then uh, that's a big problem. So um, we've just worked a lot on making it more stable, making uh, fixing a lot of bugs. Uh, not that you know, that was our whole focus and that, you know, we have a lot of happy users that use Wirecast all the time. Um, but in addition to that, we added a, a couple of cool new features. One is the chroma key. So we added luma key and color key and we added a whole bunch more settings to our chroma key, which is really slick. Um, it just gives you way more ability to dial in that, uh, that key and even with, with dim lighting or with not optimal lighting, you get a, a better key. Uh, well, and then or when the your talent's in like an odd colored shirt. I have a red shirt that we used to kill ourselves right. trying to color balance. And finally, we just made a rule. Gary doesn't wear red on the show anymore. <laughs> right, so try that with our new chroma key. Maybe maybe you can begin Challenge. wearing red again, Gary. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah and, and we also um, updated our text our text scroll, which is uh, nice and smooth. We've in, we've improved some of our incoming connections. So our Wirecast Go, which is our uh, iOS app, it, which al we allow you to use that as a source. We've improved the the reliability of the connection there. Our Rendezvous, which is our um, video conferencing system that's built into Wirecast. We've inc improved a whole bunch of uh, things around that. Um, and then we've also done some work around sizing and scaling sources. So uh, when you bring in your 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 video cameras or your sources, um, now there's different settings that you can use to size those more precisely and uh, more easily create a composite shot with different sources. And involved. one of the features you've added that we were talking about authenticity and things don't go right that I think is fantastic is you, you've improved the safety net. So, you know, Every now and then something happens where I'll lose your stream or a camera or someone will kick a camera down or something will happen. And I like the fact that I like to call it redundancy and resiliency that you've built into it. Talk to that a little bit, how, you know, if a source gets disconnected, if something goes bad, how Wirecast can have some defaults so that your show stays going. Yeah, so if you do, which inevitably happens, you lose a source, uh, we have a preference now where you can choose how to how you want to handle that and you can have it be a big question mark which is what we've had in the past you can exchange it for a transparent layer or you can add in your own graphics so one way that people use that is they'll have their layer sources in wirecast with maybe a camera shot and then beneath that camera shot they'll have a photo of that person that yep. they're interviewing. And so if they drop that camera source, then the, and they turn it to transparency, then the photo beneath it shows up. And so it's just a, a much more elegant way of handling dropped sources. Thank you for watching this highlight from the Video Guys Live webinar. If you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.